Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a what is on my iPhone 10s video. I got my iPhone 10s for Christmas. If you guys watched my what I got for Christmas video, then you know this was number one on my wish list. There's a lot of really great apps that I have on here that I think are really helpful and useful, and I just I I'm excited to share it all with you. Before I show you guys what's on my phone, I want to go over what I have on the outside of my phone, as well as some really cool features of this device. I do have a case on my phone. It is a heyday case from Target that is just clear. I like this because the siding of it is like flexible, um, but it also has that like layer of protection. I do also have a screen protector on my phone. I also have this pop socket. It says girl power. Super cute. It's pink and black and um, it's my first ever pop socket. I actually really like it. This was a gift that I got for Christmas, but I also saw it at Target and wanted it. So they do sell it at Target. They also sell it at Urban Outfitters. And I really like this because I'm one of those people who drops their phone all the time and I also love to fidget. So this is great because I get to fidget with it whenever I'm bored. It's also really convenient when I'm getting ready. I just pop up my phone like this and I can watch a YouTube video. I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. Same, but it's nice to just, you know, be able to prop it up and watch something while I do my hair or my makeup while I get ready. So I really want to talk about the camera. The camera on this phone is so good, you guys. Um, I have been using my phone camera to vlog lately and I never thought that day would come, but it came. Um, this shoots in 4K, you guys, so I don't even need my uh, vlog camera anymore. I'm probably never going to use it ever again, let's be real. Um, and then for my birthday, uh, Bay got me a gimbal, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a steady cam for your phone. So um, I can get really good vlog content on this and I seriously don't even need a vlog camera anymore, which makes vlogging really convenient. And I feel like vlogging on your phone looks way less awkward than carrying around a camera. Just personally, it just makes me feel much more comfortable when vlogging. So guys, the first thing I'm going to show you is my lock screen. My lock screen for the past like forever has been Hogwarts and I took this picture on my 22nd birthday, I believe it was, at the Wizarding World in Orlando. If you guys know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and I basically live at the Wizarding World, so it's my favorite thing ever. I'm going to really quickly show you guys me unlocking my iPhone with my face. Super convenient. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my foam background. It is roses, and these are actually roses that my boyfriend Nick got me. It's the prettiest picture of roses I've ever seen. So now I'm going to give you like an overview of how my phone is set up and what apps I have on here. Um, the first thing is I have my settings up here. My calendar is just the Apple calendar that the phone comes with. I have the weather app, um, mail, which I know like don't even go there about the number. I need to figure out how to disconnect my email from my phone. I just, I don't like having my personal email on my phone just because it's basically all subscriptions and things like that to different companies that I online shop with. Then I have my music app, photos, notes, maps, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, Shortcuts, Uber, Shazam, Spotify, SoundCloud, Podcasts, uh, a photography little accumulation of apps, uh, shopping, health, games, and school. And then over here I have Zoho Mail, which is my business email, and I use that app on my phone. You now, this is the Evo Gimbal app, which is uh, the app that I use for my vlogging study cam that I just talked about a little earlier. iLight, which I'll explain in a little bit. And then I have an extra section. Extra section, which is all the apps that the phone comes with that I pretty much don't use or don't need to easily access. I have phone, messages, safari, and camera right down here as well. And then over here, this is one of the things that I love. I have a app on my phone 
that allows me to see the subscriber count in real time. So anytime I just want to check on my subscriber count, I just swipe to the side and I see how many of you guys that I have that are subscribed to me, which now is the perfect time to say. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to do so down below. Then I have the find my friends. Then I have the screen time function on here. But as you can see, I spend most of it social networking, which is basically me interacting with all of you. And then it has my battery life as well. So guys, I guess I'm going to start with the music app. I honestly have not been using as much as Spotify. I guess we're just going to jump into Spotify. As you can see, my music taste is um, very eclectic. There's like a lot of rock and um, things like that. I love listening to jazz when I'm either doing school or uh, getting ready or even just like in the car, whatever. Um, jazz Vibes is an amazing, amazing playlist that I just love. Um, so that's like a really good vibe uh, if you guys are into that. Another favorite of mine is the Coffee Table Jazz playlist. This is also really, really good. Literally perfect coffee shop music playlist. It's great again for like school or just like in the car, things like that. But it just like makes me feel so cozy when I listen to this and it definitely makes me want a cup of coffee. Staying in the theme of jazz, I really like the New York Jazz Vibes playlist as well. Just gonna throw that out there. I also love the deep sleep playlist. This is amazing when I'm just trying to like chill out and relax before bed. Um, it's really calming and soothing. If you guys follow me on Instagram at it's me the Marie, then you guys know that I recently discovered this playlist because Spotify recommended it to me. Um, I am huge into rock music, but um, this is really funny because it's called stoner rock and if you know me, you know I do not smoke at all. So um, I think the name of it is really funny, but um, the playlist is so sick, you guys. If you love rock music like me, if you're into Queens of the Stone Age, Led Zeppelin, or Wolfmother, then I think you'd really like this playlist. So the next app I want to talk about is Notes. I'm not going to open it for you guys. I use it pretty much every single day to write down video ideas, outfit ideas, grocery lists, Instagram captions, all that stuff. It's all on there. So I'm not going to show you guys because it'll ruin surprises and things. The YouTube app, obviously, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, you should go do that right now. And then the next thing is my Instagram, which again, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you should go follow me. Then I have obviously Facebook and Messenger, that's like personal, and Twitter, which I honestly, I barely use Twitter. I'm so bad about tweeting, um, probably because like I barely have any followers on Twitter for whatever reason. My main platforms are YouTube and Instagram for sure. Then I have the shortcuts, which I honestly have not really used. I wanted to talk about it because some of you will probably use it more than I did. <laughs> You basically can create your own functions for Siri on this app. So for example, let's say you name a function taking off and you're about to get on a flight and you need to put your phone in airplane mode, but you also want it to save your battery life and all that kind of stuff. So you can tell Siri, hey Siri, I'm taking off. Oh, goodbye. And she'll put your phone in pretty much anything you wanted to do. Shazam is amazing if you guys don't know what Shazam is. If you hear a song that you like, you just press this button and it listens to the song and tells you what song is playing so you can discover new music. If you guys aren't familiar with SoundCloud, it's a great app for discovering new music, new artists, um, and also supporting friends who make music, so that's why I have SoundCloud. Um, podcasts, I actually use pretty often. I do want to share my favorites with you guys, which are Gals on the Go. Danielle and Brooke are incredible gals who are very inspiring and fantastic geeks. Um, I love Harry Potter. So thank you, Tessa. Thank you, Brazy. I love your podcast. And then if you're someone who's just getting into like YouTube, social media, or maybe you just want to polish up on your social media knowledge, The Influencer is a great podcast, especially for like female entrepreneurs and 
things of that nature. Then we're going to talk about the photography app, which I'm just going to show you guys what apps I have really quickly. If you guys want to get more in depth with this, I will have a video up on how I edit my Instagram photos and I'll have it linked down below and I'll also put like a little card on the screen. So if you guys want to check that out and like learn how I use these apps, um, this is basically the apps I use the most on my phone. Then I have my little shopping section which has iTunes, App Store, Yelp, AliExpress, Amazon, Target, Etsy, um, my bank, the cash app, uh, the magic guide for both Disney parks because I am a total Disney gal, Poshmark, Uber Eats, Postmates, PayPal, and Starbucks. I'm just going to go over a few apps in here that I really like that you may or may not be familiar with. The first app I want to go over is Yelp. I love this app for finding new restaurants or any really local business in general. Let's pull up Le Dry. There's pictures of their most popular dishes right here. And you also can see um, what the inside looks like and their food and the outside and things like that. So this is great if um, you're trying to find a new place to eat and you want to know what the food on the menu looks like. I like AliExpress for like wholesale inexpensive purchases. So if there's like a tank top that I really like that I feel like I've seen sold at a million and one stores, it's usually on AliExpress for like really, really cheap. Uh, I also have the Target app because I love Target. If you guys know me, I shop at Target frequently. I'm gonna cover this because it tells you what store I shop at. My personal favorite feature is the product scanner feature and I'm actually gonna demonstrate that. I recently just bought these razors from Target. I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So if you put this over the scanner, it'll tell you that the razors are $3 off. And then you can save the offer and it'll put it in your cart. It'll create a accumulation of the coupons and give you a barcode and you scan that barcode at checkout and you get money off of your purchase. Then I have Etsy, which is basically an online store, kind of like Amazon in a sense, but instead everything is pretty much like handmade local businesses and you can order online. So it's great for artwork, home decor, jewelry, and just really cute, unique things. Cash app is a great way to conveniently send money back and forth to your friends without having to wait for the transaction to go through like PayPal. Um, and then Poshmark. I love Poshmark. Poshmark is basically a thrift shop online for low-end and high-end things. So for example, as you can see, you can buy Dior from there, but you can also buy vintage things. You can buy name brand, it, just everything. Some stuff hasn't even been used before, which is really cool too. I want to list some stuff next time I get back to Tampa. So um, if you guys want to like shop my clothes, then be sure to go follow me on Poshmark and I'll also let you guys know on my Instagram when I've posted on Poshmark. And then the Starbucks app, I love the Starbucks app because I love drinking Starbucks. I recently got into the Starbucks app. If you're someone who frequently goes to Starbucks, this app is great because um, you get free food, free drinks, and things like that occasionally. Next, I have my health apps. The health app that comes with your phone is great because it basically works like a pedometer. Also, there's a function called medical ID, and since I just got this phone, I still have to set it up, so don't judge me yet, but my old phone had it set up, and I'm definitely going to set it up on here again, but you can basically create a medical ID with all of your information, like your height, your weight, if you're an organ donor, your emergency contact, your blood type, if you have any allergies or medical conditions, and when you make an emergency call, it will send all this information over. Let's say, for example, I'm allergic to latex, so they would know not to use latex gloves on me in case of an emergency. Amazing app, highly recommend that. The next app I wanna talk about is Sleep Cycle. I love Sleep Cycle. So um, you can set it to do the exact alarm time or there's a selection called wake up phase, which if this is turned on, it'll basically wake you up 30 minutes between whatever alarm you set. So let's say you set it for 8.30, it'll wake you up between 8 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. at the time that you're most awake. This app senses your body's movements and wakes you up whenever you're most awake between these two times. 
also has my favorite thing, which is Sleep Aid. So you can choose different sounds to fall asleep to. So if you guys um, love falling asleep to rain like I do, that app's amazing. Then there's Lifesum, which I have not been using um, recently, clearly, um, since I got the phone pretty much. But you can monitor basically everything you eat in a day. You can scan the barcode on items, which is really cool. So it'll like, I have a Sprite over here that's been sitting on my counter for a while. If I scan the barcode, it'll tell me my Sprite has 240 calories and I can add all of this to what I ate for that day. And I can keep track of if I'm getting enough protein, if I'm getting enough fat, if I'm getting enough carbs, if I'm overeating, undereating. The next thing is the games. I honestly don't really use my phone for games much. Um, I play the Harry Potter game and I eventually stopped playing it for whatever reason. <laughs> And then I love Best Fiends, especially when I'm on a flight or I'm like really bored and I have nothing to do. Then these school apps that I have. So basically Google Translate, I'm taking a Spanish class this semester. And if I'm stuck on something or don't understand something, um, I'll use Google Translate to make sure I understand it better. Gradient, I'll get into in a second. And then there's Blackboard, which is basically how I access my courses, but I have it on my phone so I can check emails and stuff. Gradient is amazing because it keeps track of my grades for my semester. I can basically input my grades as completed or predicted. These are all the completed assignments I've done. I love this because it tells me my current grade and my predicted grade for the class so I can know what I need to really like get in the class to stay on track. If you're someone who is very adamant about making good grades and wants to stay on top of what their grades are in their class, Gradient is a great app for that. And then um, business emails, you now, which I have not broadcasted on you now in so long. If you guys want me to start broadcasting again, I totally will. Um, I loved it when I did it and I'd love to start doing it again. And then I already kind of went over what this app is. It's basically what you film with when you use the gimbal. And then I also have iLight. It's an app for something Nick got me on uh, Etsy. It's a cloud that lights up and changes color. So you can change the color of the cloud using this app to literally any color that you want it to be. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found an interest in some of these apps that I have and inspired you to download them and try them out. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.